the survival of the uh, pipeline industry, you know, the pipeline repairs, pipeline construction in Nigeria. You know, Nigeria is going through a phase um, of um, transporting its gas and uh, you know, oil within both the swamp and the land, um, you know, the land block of, of your country. So uh, the, the issue of uh, pipeline and conference is so key that I believe this kind of conference or coming together of pipeline companies will form a pressure group that will address the pipeline vandalism in the country and also address the issue of uh, you know, uh, creating the necessary opportunities required uh, by local uh, companies to try the pipeline construction. So Nest Oil being one of the foremost uh, pipeline companies in Nigeria is playing a very key role as a sponsor of this conference. And that's why I'm here. I'm here just to witness how the conference is going and also to um, add one or two advice to the um, organizers on how we're going to make these things better. But from what I've seen inside, it's a pure showcase of uh, the indigenous pipeline and construction companies in the country. And I think this is just a start. It's a start towards growing that um, industry bigger and ensuring that we'll come up with um, technologies, engineering-wise, and um, you know other ways of making sure the pipelines are protected and they are safe for you know, for the oil and gas business. Thank, Thank you, sir. What's your name, sir? My name is Dr. Ernest Azodialo Bojages. I'm the group managing director of Nest Oil and the chairman of OB Jackson. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir.